In this infographic, we have Calvin and Hobbes here sliding down a tobogganing hill. Now, there are several things to note here. First of all is gravity. Gravity, as usual, acts straight downwards. However, because the motion is now acting sideways down the ramp, gravity now can be broken down into the parallel components, F parallel here, as well as the perpendicular components. In our perpendicular components, we have our perpendicular force of gravity and our normal force. In this case, F net is Fn plus Fg of parallel. And because Calvin and Hobbes is not selling up or down, like that, our net force is going to be zero. On the other hand, we have the force of friction here and the parallel force of gravity acting in the sideways direction. We call this the parallel direction. And the net force here is a mix of the force of friction and the force of gravity in the parallel component. And we know that Calvin and Hobbes is accelerating downhill, so here, F net in the parallel direction is equal to mass times the acceleration. And one last thing we need to keep in mind is that the perpendicular component of the force of gravity is determined by multiplying the force, the gravitational force, by cosine theta. Why cosine theta? Because the uh, perpendicular component right here it is the adjacent angle, com adjacent side of the triangle relative to this angle. Therefore, adjacent and hypotenuse, we have to use the trig function cosine. And lastly, for the parallel direction, we need to use the trig function sine because in here, in our parallel direction, this is the opposite angle compared to this angle, so we have to use the trig function sine.